Butters, what the hell are you wearing? I got a job over the ice cream shop. And guess what? I got my very first paycheck. That's not fair. I want a paycheck. My dad told me if I got a job, we could put my paychecks in my very own bank account. I want a bank account. I didn't know kids could get jobs. Yeah, well, I guess these days it's real hard for businesses to find people to work, so they'll take whatever they can get. I want to take whatever I can get. You wouldn't last four hours on a job, fat ass. Excuse me? That's easy for you to say you don't need a job because you live in a nice house. I have to live in a shithole like Kenny does. It's not fair that some people in our country are given the opportunity for employment while others aren't. I'm going to tell my mom. I need your permission to get a job. Oh, you're too young to have a job, sweetie. Mom, look at this shithole we live in. Somebody has to get a job because you just sit on your ass all day. I had a job, Eric, but you got me fired because you wanted me taking care of you. And that's why we had to sell our house. Yes, right, because I'm the man of the house. You're supposed to take care of me, and I'm supposed to go get a job. You really expect us to live like this the rest of our lives? This is not a proper place to raise a job! The truth is, I don't think you'd last four hours at a job. Oh, now you sound like Cal! Do you run Hollywood with him? Are you in Jew too, man? All right, Eric, fine. You want to go get a job and have a little dose of reality? Maybe it'll be good for you. Thanks, man. I love you. Oh, hey, Eric. Hey, Butters. I'm here for my job. What are you talking about? My mom gave me permission. I can start work now. What do I do? Well, but Eric, this is my job. Yeah, I want your job. Sitting around eating ice cream. Sounds fun. Eric, there's a lot more to it than that, and I already do this job, Everything so... all right, Butters? Oh, yes, Mr. Sheldon. I was just... Hello, to... sir. I'm a dear friend of Butters. He told me all about this place and said I should get permission from my mom to work here. Oh, well, uh, I, I do need all the help I can get. Butters, can you vouch for him? Is he trustworthy and reliable? Uh, well... Um, okay. Well, all right, well, let's find him a uniform and you can start training him. All right, Eric, so there's three types of ice cream. Waffle cone, sugar cone, and cups. Uh-huh, and when do we get to have breaks? Well, you get a 10-minute break every two hours, but only after you check all the freezers, which are right over there and need to always be set to zero degrees. Okay, and how much longer do we have to be here? Eric, please, I don't want to lose this job. Oh, hello, sir. Hope you're having a creamy day. Eric, can you scoop out some coconut almond fudge? <laughs> Why? Because it's your job, Eric. Whoa, Butters. Let's not make this a toxic work environment, okay? Yeah, I got a job in an ice cream shop. Yeah, it's dumb as hell, but I'm gonna start getting paychecks. But, Butters, what is this about? Oh, sorry, sir. Eric? Yeah, no, she's pretty hot, but she's got droopy boobs. Eric! Eric, you can't just sit there at a table. Yeah, I can. It's Monday. So? So haven't you heard of bare minimum Mondays? It's a thing that young people have created because we care about our mental health. I don't care if it's bare minimum Mondays. Eric, you need to come... Oh, break time. I'll be back. Butters, what's going on? Uh, yeah, Eric says he's going to work from home. How can he work from home? This is an ice cream shop. Yeah, no, because see, I'm actually taking a mental health day. Yeah, young people can just ask for a mental health day, and employers can't deny them. It's my mental health day. Hi, hope you're having a creamy day. Can I help you? You know what's total bullcrap, Butters? It's how much money the owner of this place is making while we're out here busting our asses. I mean, what does that old fart even do? Eric, could you please fill this nice lady's order? Oh, yes, let me get that for you, master. Right away, now. Kenny! <laughs> Kenny! Kenny, you're not gonna believe this, but I just quit my job. You had a job? Yes, I had a job. But I got fed up. Sick of working my fingers to the bone for some piece of shit owner. And that's when it hit me. Kenny, we should open a restaurant. Where the fuck are you in the You know the hot dog I've been living in? We would be the owners. And we could have all the hot dogs we wanted. Whoa. All we need is an investor, and we can make our dreams come true. And I know somebody who has a bank account and gets paychecks every week. No, 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 thank you, no. But if, don't you want to invest your money in something that matters? That's why we came to your bank to offer you this awesome deal. Yeah, but this is, this is my money. I worked hard for it. But it's, it's just like, you're lucky, you know? You have money. But look at Kenny. Can you imagine what it's like for him? Watching rich white boys like you just collecting paycheck after paycheck while he wallows in the filth of his tiny house? The filth? And we pay you back as soon as we make our first dollar, Butters. You have my word on it. Oh, okay. Yeah! This is going to be the best restaurant in Colorado, Kenny. And I know exactly what we should name it. The hot dog stand is going through major renovations, and the new name has just been announced. 
Dick and Bo's hot dogs is sure to be a big hit here in town. <laughs> <laughs> he said it! We got him to say Dick and Bo's! <laughs> With each hot dog served here at Dick and Bo's hot dogs, they actually use the ketchup to put a nice little smiley face on the plate. <laughs> it's just their sort of trademark touch. Oh, hey, Butters. We have some of those uh, first quarter projections to show you. Do you have the first quarter projections, Kenny? Oh, uh, well, football. Are you guys just playing around? No, we are renovating and opening an amazing restaurant that will be extremely profitable. Then why did you name it Dick and Bob's? Butters, you are the investor. We are the creatives. Well, stop being creative and open the goddamn restaurant so I can get my money back. So stop dicking around and wasting my money. Butters, at Dick and Bob's, dicking around is all we do. Dicking around the competition. Okay, that's good. Mermaid, go to the Mermaid Grotto right over there. Eric, Eric, I think you've done enough renovations. Mom, no offense, but will you shut your mouth because you know nothing about the restaurant business? All right, everyone, it's looking good, but we have a ways to go. I don't know about you, but I am exhausted. I think we should just all take the rest of the day off because it is Wet's Not Work Too Hard Wednesdays. All right. So good. Oh, okay. Wet's Not Work Too Hard. You must be so tired from selling all that ice cream. Well, yeah, it was a pretty long night. A long night, he says. That's great, Butters. Only problem is, if you're really working at a job, then why is there zero dollars in your bank account? What? So now what are you really doing, young man? Zero dollars, but I've been working every day. Oh, sure. I know exactly how it is. You say you have to work so you can get out of the house, get away from the family, and you go down to that glory hole down on 4th and Larimer. Oh, my God, Butters. And while your family thinks you're at your job, you're actually strapped face down on a bed at the Brighton Motel, taking any load you can find on Adult Friend Finder. <laughs> it's the lies! It's the lies! I can't take it anymore! I'm gonna go to the office and get some work done! <laughs> oh, man, it's the stupid bank. Hey, Butters. Nice day, Eric. What the hell do you think you're doing? You can't take my money out of Butters. my nice Butters. But butters, 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 will you relax? Where's all the money gone from my bank account? You said to get things moving. We needed the funds to go faster. You said you'd never access my account without my permission. You think I'm just doing all this for the fun of it? Hang on a second. We Then open this stupid place, Eric. Fine. We'll start hiring tomorrow morning, and we'll be open by the afternoon. And trust me, Butters, when we open, and you see how successful it is, you're going to apologize to me. What the hell is going on? Why is nobody showing up? I don't know, dude. Hey, hey, excuse me. You want to come work at Dick and Bob's for minimum wage? No. That's because your generation is lazy. You got all comfy during the pandemic. Nobody knows how to work anymore. Okay. Can I work from home? What? No, you can't work from home. It's a hot dog stand. Well, I could work here, but I'll need mental health days off to deal with the toxic environment. Where do people get this stuff? We're sure you're excited to be part of the Dick and Boss team, and we are certainly glad to have you here. We're happy to be here. Shut up, Scott. Now listen, it's going to take dedication and drive to get this place open. Isn't that right, Kenny? Sorry, Kenny's working from home today because it's his mental health day. Oh, well. Do I get mental health days, too? Oh, here we go. Fine, Clyde, what days do you need to have mental health days? Well, how should I know until I'm feeling mentally unhealthy? God damn it, you guys, it isn't gonna work like this, okay? And um, I'm also gonna need five minute breaks every hour to check my insulin levels. You're fucking joking! This is a goddamn restaurant, you guys! There's no time for diabetes! Hey, fellas. Oh, great. Now the bank is here. Scrooge McButters to collect on his money. You haven't made any money. Butters, the truth is, we tried. The fact of the matter is the U.S. government failed this generation by shutting down businesses in the pandemic and now they don't know how to go back. I'm sorry, but we lost all your money. But there is a good side to this, because as you can see, I now have a house that has slides and games and a mermaid grotto, and you can come and hang out all you want. Gosh dang it! Attention everyone! Digabos is now open for business! Welcome to Digabos, how can I help you? smile on the plate, honey. Oh, you like that, don't you? You guys, it's working. We're doing it. Oh, oh. Mm, hey, that's a pretty good hot dog. I just love they have all the fun stuff for kids to do here. 
Hey, great job, kid. You really did it, Eric. Congratulations, Eric. You're a hero. And I got it. And I got it. It's great job, Jim. Dick and Bob's Hot Dogs is a big success, and here's your first return on your investment. I'm sure there's many more to come. Butters and I have been talking, and we think that my little Eric deserves to get exactly what he's been wanting for a long time. No! No, what are you doing? Dick and Bob's is mad! You can't stop Dick and Bob's! No! Take me back! No! Please! I don't want my old house! I want Dick and Bob's! Come on! No! Yeah! It's your old room, just like you always wanted. But I hate this stupid house. I don't want to be here. I want to be in Dick and Bass. <laughs> Dick and Bass is awesome. This place sucks. Please. Uh, 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 I want, I want Dick and Bass.